Today we're going to uh, diagnose a uh, throttle pedal position sensor switch. Okay, so we have two uh, powertrain uh, codes. We have P2122 and the P2127. The P stands for powertrain and uh, the P2122 is for the following. Uh, throttle pedal position sensor switch D circuit low and the P2127 throttle pedal position sensor switch E circuit low. Before we proceed we must understand the uh, wiring system, the layout architecture and uh, let's start with uh, look at the bottom right hand of bottom right hand of your screen you'll see it says accelerator pedal position sensor. Now this sensor is located on the uh, pedal itself. The system is a drive-by-wire system so when you hit the pedal you don't really uh, directly open up the throttle mechanically. You are... It needs to detect the angle of the pedal and then it provides a voltage that that matches the angle. Right, and this system has it's redundant, and uh, I'll describe it to you. So, to your left, right, you're going to see the pedal from the harness, the, the car harness that goes into the uh, I'm sorry, the connector to the left. To the left is the connector from the car's harness that goes into the the uh, the, the re repairable, uh, sorry, replaceable part, the, the pedal. The pedal comes with the position sensor on it. Okay, now the computer provides all these wires go back to the um, uh, X1 connector on the uh, uh, electronic control module, which is the car computer, and the positions are of the, of the pins are listed at, at the top. Now, if we go all the way at the bottom again on the right hand side. I'm going to read to you and you can look at what's happening on the left which is the actual connector on the car harness okay the white and black is a reference um, uh, uh, wire it's a 5 volt reference wire the second one and that's position D position E is a dark blue wire and that is uh, the uh, APP sensor number one signal that's gonna that's going to change based upon the angle the angle of the pedal is reflective of the voltage and it never exceeds four it never exceeds five volts all right um, angle uh, position number F the brown wire right is going to be the um, to, to, to ground that goes to ground and then when we get to the other half right of this system this is a this is where the redundancy starts right it's we have the tan wire the tan wire is going to be your five volts again reference it doesn't go all the way to five volts this is where it gets interesting it goes to like two volts max i believe that's what that's what it goes to um i'm sorry the uh app sensor number two uh position b the light blue wire will provide zero to two volts and um, actually it's more like 0.5 to two volts and then uh, the purple wire goes to ground okay all right now the issue that we were having uh, was for the fault code was for app sensor number one and uh, even though we have app sensor two i believe it was it was just being triggered by the fault in uh, APP signal number one. Okay, and uh, if you look closely, I uh, I didn't do it, but I'm going to tell you what to look for on your left side. You can see the blue wire uh, in position number one, the light blue wire, and you can see the purple wire, the ground wire, have been damaged uh, by the technician. Uh, they were poking at it and uh, in a way that is just going to lead to corrosion. So don't do that. Or if you do do that, make sure you at least cover it up. Um, so that way you minimize the damage over time. The 
This is a machine screw that was used to attach a missing fender liner and uh, it pierced the wire, uh, the loom that protects the wire and also the wire itself and it completed a, a circuit to ground, a shirt to ground. Now I had to, to get to this I had to remove the uh, um, power distribution area box where all the fuses exists. This is the loom that was damaged uh, by the uh, machine screw, I'm sorry, the metal screw. And uh, you can see that hole, that's where it pierces, it pierced through the uh, loom. If you look closely at the uh, dark blue wire, you can see the nick in the wire, and that was enough of a connection from the metal screw to complete a short to chassis ground. Here is a image of the connector from the car harness side that goes into the uh, APP sensor that's located on the um, pedal. So I was getting a uh, uh, P2122 uh, and that's a uh, ECM detects an APP sensor 1 voltage is less than 0.325 volts for more than 0.04 seconds. Right? And that's going to be uh, this wire right here. The, the top, oops, see the blue wire, second wire on the top, that's going to be APP1. And the bottom wire here, second from the bottom, this light green one, it's going to be APP2. So those position, that's going to be the uh, uh, sensor, uh, hold on, I'll tell you real quick. Um, APP stands for accelerator pedal position sensor so that's what that is right and if that voltage is below that voltage at the top is going to be in between um, uh, one and four volts so at rest pedals not pressed it should be at one volt but when it's uh, pressed it at full max throttle angle it's going to be at uh, four volts all right so here's the issue I already sanded them down. We can look right back here. You see that sticking out of the fender wall? Right there, that metal sheet metal screw was right here sticking out. Right here sticking out. And what happened, it pierced the uh, blue wire right here. There's a blue wire in this harness that is going to be for the app position, uh, accelerator pedal position, there it is, accelerator position, pedal position, and uh, that created a short to ground. Anytime the voltage is like at zero, you have a short to ground most likely, and uh, the repair is you got to hunt where that short to ground is. So you're gonna take the uh, power distribution box out you can see to get to the problem. And that's what I have to do to find this issue. Okay, so I hope this helps somebody.